yes, we are live on YouTube. Students have joined. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, so we will begin. Uh, good morning, everyone. I, Surya Gune, faculty with the Department of Mass Media, KC College, welcome you all to the fourth day of induction program of HSNC University, Mumbai for the batch of 2021-22. Before we begin, I would like to pay a tribute to Rashtrapita Mahatma Gandhi on his birth anniversary today. On the occasion of um, this uh, precious day, let's all pledge to walk the path of truth, compassion, and nonviolence that he had shown uh, to us in both our personal and professional lives. This induction program is an initiative taken by our university to welcome the new batch um, and prepare and guide them for the enriching journey um, of their undergraduate and postgraduate education with our prestigious institutions. No initiative taken by us is possible without the solid support and encouragement from our university and board administration and our principals of all three institutions. We have amongst us today, IC principal of HR College, Dr. Pooja Ramchandani. Dr. Ramchandani is a senior academician and researcher in the field of commerce. She is also the recognized guide for PhD in Commerce with Mumbai University. She has been associated with HR College uh, for more than two de decades now. She is a firm believer in the power of hard work, hard work and efforts, and she has inculcated this belief in the students of the college as well. Dr. Ramchandani is the guiding force for all the students and teachers of the institution alike. I now invite Dr. Pooja Ma'am to deliver the welcome address for the day. Pooja Ma'am, over to you. Thank you, dear Surya, and uh, a very warm good morning to everyone present here. Sri Subodh Tiwari ji, our guest for the morning, vice principals of both the colleges, faculty, and to my dear brand ambassadors of HSNC University. Let me first start with the day today that we are celebrating Gandhiji's Jayanti on 2nd October. And today, what an amalgamation of having Sri Subodhji today addressing all the students. HSNC University, an amalgamation of three colleges, HR, KC, and Bombay Teachers Training College. Because of the efforts that we took, our students took, and gave us good achievements in academics, extracurricular, co-curricular, and other programs. The government of Maharashtra recognized that, yes, we can walk alone. De-affiliating from Mumbai University, they made us a cluster university, a degree-granting university recognized by government of Maharashtra. When we are celebrating a great day today of 2nd October and remembering father of the nation, Sri Gandhiji, the, the practices that he taught us, the efforts that he took and built this nation called India in 1947, that today we breathe freely. Many other countries got freedom along with us, but we know where they stand. And today we can proudly say where we stand. Yes, we face challenges. Yes, we as a country, has difficulties, but our youth, which is 50% of our population, which is young, is taking care of this nation. And we know for next 100 years, India is gonna be a great nation and will become a superpower, superpower and superpower. But when we are looking at progressing faster, running faster for the progress of self and nation, it is necessary to take care of yourself. And there we bring Dr. Professor Subodh Tiwari ji to come and talk that yes, it is necessary to run, but running with healthy lifestyle, with healthy peace of mind, with healthy soul is necessary. I welcome once again to Sri Subodh ji and I'm handing over to you to take this youth to tell them that yes, run, but run with speed, but run with a heart, run with peace and run with happiness. So over to you, Surya, to take this session forward. I once again welcome Subodji. 
his association with us has been so long that whenever we meet him, we get scared that he will first ask us, are you keeping healthy habits or not? Because his passion towards yoga, his passion towards healthy lifestyle, his passion towards when he speaks to youngsters, we always feel a youngster is talking to, a friend is talking to, a guide is talking to the audience. And we are lucky that in induction week, Roboji agreed to join us and talk to these young 19, 20 year old first year students who are joining us uh, and they're going to take HSNC University forward. So with these few words, I welcome once again Sri Subodji to this virtual blend of induction program of HR, KC and Bombay Teachers Training College first year batch, which is a second batch of HSNC University. I must congratulate and appreciate the efforts of Sri Subodji to start a school of yoga under HSNC University. The efforts Sir has put in are tremendous and commendable. And we will always be thankful to Subodhi for his efforts to see that there are schools of management, there are schools of uh, engineering, but school of yoga, one of a unique thought that HSNC University has thought about, it would have not been possible without the support of Sri Subodhi. So we, thank you so much for helping us there. And over to you to, to interact with our younger minds who are very, very cute little children joining HRKC and Bombay Teachers Training College and looking forward to some tips of uh, your, from you that how they can live without Netflix, without WhatsApp, without star movies and live a healthy and peaceful life. So over to you, Surya. Thank you. Thank you, Pooja ma'am for the welcome address. Um, our guest speaker for the day is Sri Subodh Tiwari, um, Vice President of Indian Yoga Association and CEO of Kaivalya Dham Yoga Institute. Sri Tiwari was born in the yogic atmosphere at Kaivalya Dham Lonavla. At a young age, he received spiritual initiation from Swami Digambarji, the director and spiritual head of Kaivalya Dham Yoga Institute, and began yoga practice under the guidance of his father, Sri O.P. Tiwari. Shri Subodh Tiwari ji is a KC alumnus and has completed his BCom from KC College. Uh, he also has completed his master's degree in human resource, ma uh, resource management. In 1997, uh, Shri Tiwari decided to devote his life to Kaivalya Dham Yoga Institute and to serve it. He joined as the administrator of the SADT Gupta Yogic Hospital and Healthcare Center and also shouldered the responsibility of administration of that institute implementing improved systems. Being a nature lover at heart, he has implemented many environmentally friendly practices as well. He has also been the editor of the Institute's newsletter since 1997. Shri Tiwari initiated and coordinated programs to train uh, school teachers in yoga for Navoda schools, Kendriya Vidyale, uh, and for schools in the state of Maharashtra. He was the coordinator on behalf of the Institute for the schemes um, of promotion of yoga in schools by Ministry of Human Resource Development. He was also the coordinator for uh, the scheme yoga in school health under the Department of Ayush, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Through his initiative, institutes statewide came together and formulated the module for yoga in higher education for which he served as the editor. Um, Shri Tiwari ji has been organizer and convener of various international conferences organized by Kaivalya Dham Lonavla. He has spoken um, at various national and international conferences and has visited several countries, including USA, Canada, Mauritius, Germany, France, to conduct yoga workshops. Uh, Shri Subodh Tiwari is also the secretary of Lonavla Khandala Citizen Forum, a non-governmental organization working for the betterment of the twin towns. Various positive measures have been initiated for enhancing the local infrastructure under his guidance and uh, making it more environmental friendly. Uh, Mr. Tiwari's goal is to qualitatively enhance the life of an individual through the practice of yoga and enhance the quality of environment through human efforts. We are fortunate to have you, sir, amongst us today. Uh, I welcome you once again and now hand over the stage to you for uh, your address for the day. Thank you very much. Sir, over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Surya. Uh, that was a really long introduction. Uh, 
well done well done thank, thank you so much and uh, i am so happy to be uh, here amongst all of you all the young students who have joined the first year of the hsnc university and of course i say it every time i am very proud alumnus of the kc college uh, college life uh, can teach you so many things in life and honestly speaking uh, let me share that i was a very timid boy from lonavla who came to mumbai and it was the college peers the teachers uh, they kind of helped me transform my personality so what i realized as a student was it is very important that one is aware and one makes the right choices while you join the college स्कूल की लाइफ में तो सब बंधन होते हैं यहाँ आके ऐसा लगता है कि द बर्ड इज फ्री और जब बर्ड फ्री होता है तो उसको ये हमेशा इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द चॉइसेस व्हिच वी मेक आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर आर फ्यूचर आई एम गोइंग टू इंटरैक्ट विद यू ऑन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ फाउंडेशन ऑफ योग सो वी हैव अराउंड फोर्टी मिनट्स विद अस and uh, i don't think uh, you know many times yoga jab hum kehte hain whenever we speak of yoga suddenly log dar jate hain ki ab ekdam shant ho jao aur muskura bhi nahi sakte so i always say yoga is not about being serious yoga is about be sincere so whatever 40 minutes we spend with each other let's try to have a sincere effort to understand bahut bahut zyada complicated nahi hai but friends i would like to tell you that in this presentation which i will take you through i will just touch on some basic thing but please remember one of the most important aspects to understand is yoga is more to do with how you handle your mind all of you have gone through board examinations you get the 10th and you get the 12th and you realize how pressurized how stressed you could have been during the examination so mind is actually what is very important for us uh, as far as our physical health is concerned it is very important also uh, but it goes together your mental health and your physical health has to go together you cannot only say that okay i am happy and i am physically fit uh, but i am that's it that's where you stop no so most important things in life are to do with your mind and that is what we are uh, going to go ahead with uh, and yoga starts with awareness you all you all have just finished your 12th grade and you are in the first year and nowadays with so many things happening uh, you know the first thing which we need to observe and do in yoga is try to be where you are physically so at mental level let's be where we are physically so for 2 minutes we will just do a breath awareness we will just be aware of our breath and how we feel so that we get quiet our mind gets quiet we will absorb well and whatever we share with each other we will be able to take it home so just sit with your back upright aap apni peet seedhi kar lijiye wherever you are sitting on the chair or the sofa just ensure you are seated upright and eyes very gently closed just close your eyes gently observe your body how you are seated how comfortable you are look at your feet your legs your shoulders your neck and your eyelids which are gently closed observe and spend this time with yourself in awareness you will realize a lot of thoughts coming in but just try to be aware of your body and slowly start to be aware of your breath going in and your breath coming out just be aware awareness means that you feel the breath going in you are with your breath and feel the breath going out
awareness on your breath instantly will be able to relax you at your mental level. It's a very, very potent tool to utilize when you are stressed at your mind level. And we get stressed for small, small reasons. Feel your breath going in and breath coming out. Slowly, let's increase the depth of our inhalation. After Shwans lay rahe, gehrai se lije, deep inhalation and long exhalation. Friends, observe yourself. Do you feel more relaxed when you are exhaling? Do you feel more quieter when you are? Doing deep inhalation and deep exhalation. You have to be with yourself. Yoga practice is a time which we spend with our own selves, which is very important. We should enjoy our own company. Deep inhalation and let go. Slowly come back to your normal breathing pattern. Continue to observe. Keep your back upright. And wherever you are, just be aware and try to join your palms together. We will start this session by recitation of a peace chant. I will tell you the significance once we conclude. So if you can just join your hands very gently and listen to the chant. It's called Shanti Mantra. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunattu Sahaviryam Karvavahai Tejasvina Vadi Tamastu Mavid Vishavahai Om Shanti 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 Slowly and steadily open your eyes and relax. So what we just chanted, the peace mantra, it means sahana bhaktu, sahana bhunaktu. Let us come together, let us learn together, let us share together and let us grow together. So it's, it's a chant which enhances and enthuses us to be more progressive. So now shortly I will share uh, my... PowerPoint slide and let's go through a journey of understanding some foundations of yoga. But before that, I would like to start with something very simple. And this is, you know, we often think it's a starting point. Our mind has complete control over our body. And therefore, we justify our thinking in every which way. We think, hum jo soch rahe, wo itam bara. Hum kehte hain, haath ko upar jaye, haath upar jayega. We say, haath piche jaye, piche jayega. We say, gardan ko right me jao, right me jayegi. And this, we assume, is true to everything in our life. But let us find out. And I would like your responses on the chat box. How many of you could do what we are trying to do? Question is, how many of you think that whatever your mind or your brain instructs your body, your body will do? How many of you think that 
whatever the mind or the brain tells you at the physical level your body will do so your responses are always welcome it can be an interactive session and it could be best done by putting your comments in the chat and as we go further all we want to do is sit with your back upright take both your hands like this just keep it like this all right and once you are like this try to tell your right hand to go in circles forward try it yourself it would have been better if i could see all but right now let's concentrate on doing so it goes further okay that's what your instructions to your right hand is and instruct your left hand to move backwards so one is going forward one is going backwards try and doing this try on do and tell me how many of you could actually do this and this is just a practice to start with to understand your mind and your body connection that everything which we think which can be instructed doesn't actually happen and therefore the importance of being able to train our mind and that is where yoga comes in in a very very important way so simple practice keep practicing and very soon you would be able to do this with this forward and this backward so let's let's i'll just start my presentation and we will go through uh, the principles and philosophy and again i will say that if you have any questions you are free to put it on the chat because i have my chat window open it's it's a good idea to answer inquisitiveness at least you know that people are awake not sleeping so i'll just share the presentation here yeah and this is basic of yoga i talk of personality all of you are youngsters and let's see what do we think of uh, we say bahut achhi personality hai as a person you are you have various dimensions you have the body which is the physical dimension you have the mind which is the thinking dimension of human personality the intricate aspect of mind it does does with emotions so you have the emotional self uh, you have the social part of you where some of us are interactive uh, we make friends and we are very happy being with people uh, and some of us are introverts we are happy with ourselves uh, some of us have a hesitant personality socially especially if you are coming into a large college now and you are not used to it or some of you may have been in you know girls or boys college school or college so this is uh, you know social aspect and very important aspect which we think is post retirement and we grow old but what i say each human being has it right from the beginning is the spiritual aspect spiritual comes from the word spirit our own spirit and recognizing that why we are here very simple you see uh, senior citizens and you suddenly feel oh i want to help you see a stray puppy and you have lot of sympathy empathy you want to ask question that what can i do more in this world except for myself these are very important questions the earlier they come to you the better it is and these needs are served in an environment of college like joining in activities of national service scheme ncc where you are able to grow from within you know practices of your hugely promote this kind of a uh, dimension of personality so friends just remember each one of us has these five dimensions of personality normally we should say that we are integrated we say hum khush hain ekdam matlab kya hai your physical mental emotional social and spiritual aspects all are integrated you are happy but that is not so uh, we sometimes 
are not happy, we are stressed. So what we say, there is some kind of disintegration in the personality. Or don't be afraid of these words. All this means is that there are certain factors which affect us at our five dimensions, which make us little bit unhappy, which make us little bit not the way we should be. Very simple. And let's identify. But it's simple. It's no complication. Each one of you will identify with what I am going taking you through. One of the reasons in our lives is never-ending expectations. This cartoon will tell you exactly. So basically, we have a philosophy that you know we are open. Ki jo milega wo achha hai, whatever we get is good. But internally, are you really happy? So what happens with each one of us? Ki, aray, humko college mein admission to mil gaya. अब क्या हमको वो स्ट्रीम चाहिए थी अब हमको ऐसा फ्रेंड चाहिए था अब हमको ये सिटिंग चाहिए था तो हमारी एक्सपेक्टेशंस इज बेसिकली नेवर एंडिंग वी कंटिन्यू टू एक्सपेक्ट मोर एंड मोर व्हेन व्हाट हैपेंस देन आपकी एक्सपेक्टेशन बहुत ज्यादा है अचीवमेंट कम है तो द डिफरेंस इज कॉल्ड अनहैप्पीनेस you are expecting your parents to book you iPhone 13. But your parents come and say, no, no, but iPhone 11 mein kaam chalao. Kya hua? Do ka deficit ho gaya. And had you said, it's all right, phone is phone. I understand it's difficult. Why should we spending such kind of money? I may not need it or whatever like that. And then if you even get a good phone, it, it is happiness because you did not expect. So please remember, when our expectations are unending, we need this too, we need this too, we need this too, we need this too, we need appreciation milna all the time, we need the center of attention milna all the time. And when you don't get that, that becomes a problem, isn't it? So this is first important aspect which you should realize causes disintegration. Secondly, Please appreciate simple things in life. COVID mein hua? No one paid importance to this whole thing of coming to college, being able to be with friends. Hum aate te, shayad, kafi log college bhi attending karte, bar But suddenly, 15 months, all of you have been inside your homes doing online education. Now you have greater appreciation. Are, um, college jate the, school jate the, we would sit together, eat together, share together. So there are simple things in life which are so important, but which we don't recognize. But appreciate. COVID may what happened? Earlier, no one gave so much of importance to your breath. Now, agar kisi ko khasi bhi ho gai, yukham bhi ho gai, agar lagta hai, SPO2, dekh lo bhai. Simple, because we have suddenly realized it is very important. So friends, always remember, appreciate small, small things in life. And then you will know how lucky all of us are. Even to be walking, even to be able to study, even to be here amongst friends and everyone. It's an opportunity. And when we stop appreciating these simple things in life, Expectation is more. That is why there is disintegration. So keep, please keep your appreciation uh, hashtag always on. Students also have a lot of stress. That is true because expectation both hai. Aapko score bhi karna hai, uska bhi stress hai. Aapko अच्छे फ्रेंड्स बनाने हैं नहीं बन रहे उसका भी स्ट्रेस है आपको अचीवमेंट अच्छा करना है उसका भी स्ट्रेस है देयर आर टू काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेस प्लीज रिमेंबर ये ध्यान से सुनिए देयर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड यू स्ट्रेस ई यू स्ट्रेस एंड देयर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड डिस स्ट्रेस आपको पढ़ाई 
करके इफ यू वॉन्ट स्टडी यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सेल इन वॉट एवर यूर डूइंग यू आर स्ट्रेसफुल दैट इज यू स्ट्रेस बिकॉज दैट स्ट्रेस इज गुड फॉर यू टू अचीव दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बट इफ यू गेट सो स्ट्रेस आउ that your heart beat goes up you cannot concentrate you are forgetting whatever you want to write an examination then that is distress you don't want to get there because the moment you get there aap jis cheez ke liye achieve kar rahe the wo nahi ho pa to aap chahe you are 6 year old or you are 60 year old managing your stress is very very important Nowadays, even 18 years old, develop lot of social stress. आपने इंस्टाग्राम पे फोटो डाली या फेसबुक पे डाली उसमें लाइक्स नहीं आए इसका स्ट्रेस हो जाता इंस्टाग्राम पे अप्रिसिएशन नहीं आया उसका स्ट्रेस हो जाता मतलब वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू हैव टू हैव सच हाई सेल्फ एस्टीम फॉर योर सेल्फ दैट यू शुड नॉट बी स्ट्रेस बिकॉज ऑफ एक्सटर्नल सर्कमस्टेंसेस आप बोलोगे सर ये आप फिलोसफी बोलते हो बट इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू गेट लाइक आई अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू गेट इट इज गुड बट अगेन द एक्सपेक्टेशन कम बिकॉज इट इज नॉट इन योर हैंड देर इज अंग वन बर्ड इन हैंड इज बेटर देन टू इन द बुश सो वर्चुअल वर्ल्ड इज लाइक बुश वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट देर इज थाउजेंड ऑफ फ्रेंड्स देर बट असली में आप जब चाहोगे तो वहां पर एक भी नहीं देखेगा इट इज बेटर टू हैव टू फ्रेंड्स हुआ ट्राइड अक्रॉस यू so stress is one factor which disintegrates or stress hamare hath mein hai how do you manage it uske liye discipline chahiye devotion chahiye planning chahiye but remember stress is one factor which affects you and you must have realized aapko pandemic ka stress hoga iska stress hoga ki hum dinner pe nahi ja sakte party pe nahi ja sakte stress again expectation meet nahi ho rahi hai stress but you will have to manage because yoga helps you to manage stress and that is why i am speaking of this time to ourselves what's the meaning of life this cartoon says but make it quick i have got an important meeting in half an hour they say you know we are running we are running we are running studying working but we don't know where we are headed to same thing happens with us our parents say bhai baith jao we can stay home spend some time not last 15 months but generally but we run we have to go here we have to go there please remember your strength lies in how happy you are in your own company and at 18 years of age this is the right time to understand and it is not philosophy aap try karke dekh lena to i give you simple examples 10 minutes sit with your eye, eyes closed at home and write down mai itni baar ye socha itne baar mere thoughts disturb hue that means that you are always constantly seeking other things but you don't enjoy yourself so we need to find that time management of time is very important and if we are unable to manage time we are unable to be disciplined that creates havoc appreciate the present moment oh i should have studied more i could have done this and i could have done this and i could have got there past future mein ye karna hai aisa hoga to ye acha hoga 6 months down the line this will happen but please understand you are right here ab hamara 40 minutes ka interaction hai आप सोचे होंगे कि लंच में क्या मिलेगा हम क्या खाएंगे शाम को किससे मिलेंगे प्रॉब्लम इज यू विल लूज आउट ऑफ द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट एंड मे नॉट बी एबल टू अचीव द फ्यूचर आल्सो सो प्लीज फ्रेंड्स रिमेंबर एंजॉय वेर एवर यू आर एंजॉय वॉट एवर इज द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट गिविंग यू अप्रिशिएट लाइफ अगेन एंड अगेन आई एम सींग इतना सीखे हम लोग पिछले पंद्रह महीनों में अठारह महीनों में जिस चीज की हमको बिल्कुल अहमियत नहीं पता चलती थी उसकी हमको पता चल गई did everyone even think that you cannot step out of your house did anyone think that the person the housemaid or the helper who used to come was so important in your life did we even respect the medical community the way which we did last 18 months 
There's so many things which we need to appreciate. But first important thing is you have to continue to stay in the present moment. These are, you know, various dimensions. You will identify that this is we feel that we are uncomfortable, we are disintegrated. So how does yoga help and what is yoga? Let's understand simply next five minutes. Now, all of you should understand most of us understand yoga only as asanas. Ki sir, sir, upar kar liye, side mein kar liye. That is uh, yoga because that is what we see in the photographs. So first thing as students and first thing what I want to convey. You know, I come from an institution which is called Kaivalya Dham. All of you should Google Kaivalya Dham. Look at the website. This is the first institution which was established in 1924 which did scientific research in yoga. Hmm. Well, how does yoga affect you? So, first of all, we should understand Now you are in you know, orientation session. So now if you interact with your parents, first thing you should be comfortable answering them is, yoga is not only physical posture. Please understand. Because like I said, we try doing this, mind and body go together. So it is not only physical exercise. Yoga is a profound science. It is a practice which helps you at your physical, mental, emotional, social and spiritual. Very simple. And it, this is a tool. This is a key for you to be practicing. Today, you know, many of you who are soccer fans, football fans will realize we have our students from here who are coaches in Manchester United. There are yoga teachers who are training our Indian cricket team, hockey team, Olympics who represented because you don't only need your physical powers, you need your mind to be able to support your body. Always remember, you need your mind, your self-esteem to have confidence. So yoga is more than just physical exercise. It is some of everything. And please remember this concept called Two names you should remember. One name is Maharishi Patanjali. All of us, if you are attending this orientation, you all must be traveling globally. Who was the founding father of yoga 2500 years ago? It was Maharishi Patanjali. General knowledge question. And how did he put yoga together? So he gave Ashtanga Yoga, eight limbs of yoga, beautiful. And if you understand this in 10 minutes, which we are going to speak, you will understand the essence of yoga and use it in your day-to-day -day life. Because friends, yoga should become part and parcel. You have shower, you freshen up, you brush your teeth. Similarly, yoga should become part of your life, whether you do 5 minutes, whether you do 20 minutes, whether you do 15 minutes. Being beautiful within is more important than being beautiful outside. So, you have Ashtanga Yoga, eight limbs of yoga. Understand this very simple. Yama Niyam, these are five Yamas, five Niyamas. These are social etiquettes, quality which each individual should have. We will not elaborate much. I will leave it for those interested to read further. But five Yamas are Ahimsa, non-violence. Today is the of Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation. His principle of Ahimsa is so relevant to us. It's also birthday of Lal Bahadur Shastri, our Prime Minister, former Prime Minister, taught us the effectiveness of hard work. So Yamas and Niyamas are those qualities which we should have, which you expect others to have with you. Ahimsa, Satya, Satya, truthfulness, Astya, non-stealing, Aparigra, not holding, Brahmacharya is discipline. I don't get afraid by this word. What it means, you should have qualities within you which makes your life easier, which gets more integration. Now, suppose you have joined college starts, 
and your principal says you have to come this is a very important introduction session physically happening it is organized in the auditorium but your friend say chalo ab theater bhi khule picture dekh ke aate hain aapne kaha chalo chalo theek hai let's go lekin you forgot that the principal is also your friend is on your instagram and you posted the selfie at the regal theater or whichever saying we have come for this great movie and now you are mortally afraid of principal ne dekh liya to so what happens that fear causes disintegration to jab jab hum log and it's very simple whenever we speak the untruth you remain stressed so what does the yogic principle say be truthful simple don't be afraid you'll never be afraid you don't have to remember ten things in life sabse pehle be truthful to yourself and this is not philosophy friends i have been born in here in the institution i also went to college like you did but this is one thing which i followed and i never had to get stressed anger that is violence anger violence doesn't mean physical violence it means your mind you get angry all the time you say something to your friend one month you don't speak why because you could not control your anger you say something to your mother you say something to your father something to your brother sister why because anger mein control nahi hua aapne keh diya simple principles so what it happens it starts with working on yourself it is very important for future so yama niyam are those principles five yamas i have told you five niyamas they are sauch santosh tapas swadhyay ishwar padina don't get afraid of this word sauch cleanliness at your mind level and body level santosh contentment tapa your ability to work hard swadhyay experiential learning very important nowadays the focus you have you have you want to soon hopefully come to the university and i told you i was in the kc college what i learned most was when i was doing nss work we used to travel to mills we used to teach uh, the laborers there the workers there that gave so much of pleasure because that was experiential learning ishwar pandita ne your ability to surrender so you hold grudge against people gussa hai logon se try right? these are again i am saying 6 saal se leke 60 years 80 years these qualities you should imbibe it helps you be internally happy simple you know you should go to the youtube channel kevel dam has lot of lectures those who of you are interested please go through them and this is going to strengthen you believe it strengthened me because at this age where you are there are so many influences so many doubts so many thoughts which come to us asanas is physical postures steadiness it is not about acrobatics it is not about how difficult it is a vrikshasan you simply stand on one feet like this balancing but imagine how kind of freshness it gives you there are practicals on kevela dham youtube channel also scientific so just understand and this and start practice pranayam is breath because you breathe fast you're thinking fast if you breathe slow you can control your mind so breath is another important aspect and we are hoping that you know we have decided that we will have options of yoga practice for students a yoga club probably in the university pratyahar is ability not to get affected a principle which is very important you get ready for one hour then someone comes in your friend sees you and says are this is not matching your trousers and your shirt and you are disturbed whole day you will be thinking no no i should have worn the other one why because someone has influenced you when you did not want to get influenced so you should have the ability not to get influence disturb at your own will for positivity dharana is your ability to concentrate it helps you everywhere dhyan is able to meditate and samadhi is equanimous stage so yoga is not only about going to meditation and it is your ability to be physically mentally emotionally socially and spiritually strong so friends please remember this important thing i am going to wind up in next 5 minutes take you quickly through what the modern scientific research says you know before that a cartoon 
What happens with yoga practice is we react most of the time. This cartoon just says the ability to pause is very important. The ability to respond is more important than reaction. I bend so I won't break. This is a general principle which we always say. It's about being able to be flexible. This is the study. It just lays down when you do postures in a way where they are quiet, they are peaceful, they are done in a very gentle way. You know, your body feels happy. So what you see is, you know, A graphs and B, B is when you are doing simply, quietly. Yoga, asanas are not exercises, friends. They should make you feel fresh and relaxed. Even when you're sitting in your office, you're sitting, sorry, in your school, uh, college, you're sitting online, you should be able to do this stretch and see how good you feel. You should be able to get up in, in every 30 minutes and take a break. This indicates that when you practice asanas in a way which is steady, blissful, the impact is much better. There is a neurotransmitter called GABA. It makes you feel happy. So whenever it, it is called happiness uh, hormone, you know, when we did research, this was an international research, you have a result which says your brain produces more GABA when you're practicing yoga. So what will happen? You, your happiness level will increase. Just by the practice, there is so much of evidence. Practice 15 minutes in the morning, you'll be a happier person. So I again will repeat, sincerity is more important than seriousness. What does concentration do? What does breath awareness do? It has capacity to increase your areas, gray matter in the brain. We never believed it. But now the science, it is on fMRI study, where it says that it has been able to give you more cortical thickness. So imagine what we simply say that is so impactful in our day-to-day -day lives. So I will take a pause there and I hope you have been able to imbibe something. And please remember this lastly, you know, we keep looking for anything. You know, we need a phone, we need happiness, we need people, we need friends and everything we look outside. Please understand your greatest strength is you. Hmm? So you need to ensure that you respect yourself, you spend time with yourself and look, have the ability to talk to yourself and look at yourself. All right. So I will take leave. Thank you so much. And I hope you should be able to start the practice. Okay. Like I say, be wise, not otherwise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, sir. It was indeed, uh, uh, you know, a great experience listening to what you were saying. Uh, and I'm sure not just the students who are entering the new university, but also us teachers, we got benefited a lot from whatever you were uh, telling us to do. Um, because it is equally stressful time for uh, everyone during the last uh, probably one, one and a half year during the pandemic. So thank you very much. It was indeed enriching. Uh, I would now like to call upon Dr. Shalini Sinha, Vice Principal of uh, KC College to deliver the formal vote of thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much, Surya. I'm audible, I hope. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. So my first note of gratitude to the father of the nation, Gandhiji, and to Lal Bahadur Shastri, one of the greatest leaders of the nation. He celebrates their birthdays today only to express our gratitude for their immense contribution in laying the foundation of this nation. I would then like to express my great appreciation and gratitude to the alumnus of KC College, Shri Subodh Tiwari. Thank you so much, Tiwari ji, for always being our such a good friend, philosopher, and yoga guide of the HSNC University. You've been associated with us for so long, and you have always taken the time to introduce our young friends to yoga and its benefits today. Friends, this was such a beautiful presentation by Shri Tiwari, and that too in the language of the students today, 
through wonderful cartoons, something that really was so appealing. I especially like that last slide of yours, sir, where you spoke about stop pushing so hard on the door to happiness. It opens inwards. This is something all of us need to understand. So thank you so much, sir, for introducing everyone and showing that yoga is not just a practice. In fact, yoga is a way of life. Yoga is an attitude of positivity. Something that we as teachers have been doing every day because that is how we've been ensuring our fitness during the lockdown. I hope it is something that teacher, that students take it up. This is the only thing that has been keeping us mentally and physically fit during these lockdown days. So thank you so much, sir, for taking your valuable time today and giving it to us and to our students. I would like to convey my heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Hemata Bagla, who though she's not present here virtually, is always there in spirit with us. In fact, she has asked me to convey her apologies to Shri Subodh Tiwari because she's not been here today. She has multiple responsibilities now resting on her shoulders and hence she has not been able to make it today. But she is the one who has seen to every nitty gritty of the organization of this program. So I would really like to thank her uh, for all that she does today. Dr. Pooja Ramchandani is one of the very active and strong pillars of the HSNC University. As Dean Faculty of Commerce of HSNC University and as Principal of HR College, she wears her responsibilities lightly, all the while ensuring that she is there to take all activities forward. She is there to see to the continuity of processes and programs, and she is there whenever and wherever needed. Thank you so much, Dr. Ramchandani, for all that you have done today and for that very warm welcome note that you delivered today. I thank all the vice principals and the teachers of the both the colleges who have been there with us. Thank you so much for always supporting, guiding and encouraging our students. I thank the students and the parents who have been there today, who are watching the program. Thank you. Please understand that the induction program is meant to welcome you all who are new entrants to the HSNC University. You are here to understand about the institution, you are here to be prepared for your new roles. So we hope that you enjoy each of the sessions and you learn from it. I thank our host of the day, Surya Gune. I really appreciate her adroit and smooth handling of the session today. Thank you, Surya, for the clear, rich and fluent comparing. And thank you everyone for being here today. Today is a day of reflection. It is not just a day of holiday, it is a day of reflection, introspection, and of pledging to take our country forward. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day today. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, ma'am, for that uh, formal vote of thanks. Um, with this, I would like to announce that the uh, induction program day four uh, has concluded. Now we will meet again uh, for the induction program day five. Um, on 4th of October, which is uh, Monday, uh, same time, 11 o'clock. Uh, and we will have amongst us um, Kavita Sage, renowned singer and composer, to deliver the special address for the day. Uh, so see you on Monday with um, uh, at the same time on the same platform. Um, have a, a great weekend, all of you. And uh, thank you very much for being a part of the session today as well. Uh, with your permission, uh, Pooja ma'am, Shalini ma'am, uh, can we end the session here? Yes, yes, please do. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we can end the session. Thank you very much.